Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Year 2. Well, today we have a panelist of guests. Um, on my right is... Merisha Jilo. Merisha Jilo. Yes. Ah, jina nzuri ilo, atukapi. Mimi atukapwani. Eh? 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 Kule kwa zipa pa? Kwa jwa zipa pa? Kwa uko kwa kabisa. Kama umefika upande wa Pakata na River, uko palikata oh. na metoka, sisi majita wala mamba. The crocodile eaters. That will scare Gabriel. Uh, we also have uh, Gabriel. Uh, the last time I was with you was October or something like that. Yes, eh? uh, how's, how's it going so far? Good, good. Mm -hmm. Most of the people don't see about them. So, briefly, can you explain what is MDET? Well, MDET is a football betting site mm -hmm. uh, where we do offer games at an affordable price. Mm -hmm. uh, we also award our winners. Uh, with bounty uh, prizes, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, a week ago we had the promotion, the smartphone win promotion, where mm -hmm. so many winners could grab uh, smartphones mm -hmm. uh, just for registering. Smartphones? Alert. Yes, smartphones. That just would have excited my friend mm -hmm. Leonard who was a uh, Kaduda. Yes, just for <laughs> registering with us. Kabambe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just for registering with us and also mentioning how they got to know about us and they could just get a smartphone just like that. Uh, and you didn't tell me all about that and you know I don't have a phone. Where were you? <laughs> I'm sure you were you. Yeah. Uh, Gabriel, how, 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 how long has Embed been in the market in Kenya? It's a new yeah, company, right? We've been here uh, almost a year. A year now? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, let's say the launch was the uh, beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we were on a soft launch for, uh, for a number of months, and now uh, since October, well, August, uh, September, that is when we, we launched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you talk about um, a lot of betting companies, they offer so many sports. So basically, mm -hmm. you've mentioned the football. Yeah. So is it the only sport that you guys offer on Embed, or are there any other sports? Because mm -hmm. not so, uh, it's, it's, football is a popular sport in sub-Saharan African, yeah. but kuna wezo kano oneza patamtu kama mimi anacheza bake. You know, so what if I like basketball? Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment we do mm -hmm. only offer football, mm -hmm. uh, but we are working on also bringing other types of uh, games. Sports too. Yeah, like the basketball, the tennis mm -hmm. and other, but at the moment we are working on the football mm -hmm. uh, games only. So if you are an EPL fan, uh, La Liga fans, the, the Serie, all that we offer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gabriel, if someone new will just hear Embed, what's so unique about your platform? Well, uh, I think simplicity. Simplicity and mm -hmm. reliability. Mm -hmm. Payments, uh, immediately. immediately. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. Yeah. Only platform, I think, with the daily jackpots. Mm -hmm. uh, only 12 predictions. You have a daily jackpot? Yeah, daily. Kila mm -hmm. And, uh -huh. and it's uh, just 12 results. Uh, not 14, not 15. So you have a bonus? You have a bonus? Yeah, or? For 9, 10, mm -hmm. and 11. Yeah. So, like today, what's the maximum? Payout for a jackpot. Payout is one million uh, plus. Yeah. yeah. One million. Yeah. Marisha na jamina toka kaka mega. O kimpamlu ya kama milioni moja ni mwamke wa pili ba. O mwamke wa pili. Eh. Hey. Lakini sisi sasa unyumbani mnata katika ugali nyumbani mlete. Aivo aivo too, but one million is good money. So yeah, yeah, good money. first of all, before we do all this, how do you register on Embed, Marisha? Our registration is free of charge. Mm -hmm. All you need to do, uh, you can get online. Uh, via www.embet.co.ke mm -hmm. then uh, fill, in the, fill in the registration form just your names, where you come from and uh, your phone number mm -hmm. then you're good to go or you can also register via SMS mm -hmm. uh, you can just send the word embet to 79888 you send the word embet to 79888 that should be amazing yeah. so I hear a lot of people talk about odds, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. What are odds? Well, odds, as the definition of the term, is uh, a bit the, pro the probabilities of, uh, of a win, let's say, or a result. You know? mm -hmm. uh, in this case, when there's a match, football, there's three options. Uh, okay. A win, a draw, or a, or a loss, mm -hmm. or a win, a uh, visitor win. And the odds will, uh, let's say, benefit the, the, the weakest team, no? uh, the mm -hmm. highest odd will go for the weakest team. Mm -hmm. But of course, that's the lowest probabilities of, uh, of, uh, of that result. Mm -hmm. So let's say if we have a strong team like Madrid or, or 
Man City, no, this uh, season. Yeah. Uh, those teams will have uh, lower odds. Very lower odds, mm -hmm. uh, especially if they, they play home. Oh, because their probability of winning is high. It's much higher. Mm -hmm. So, Marisha, yeah. what are some of the common mistakes that players mm -hmm. make when they are placing their odds? When they are placing their odds, mm -hmm. well, first of all, you see, uh, first, uh, our players don't do research. Uh, you you know, know, you know, yes. Kwa <laughs> kwa sababu kwa sababu kwa sasa tunalipa ukiwa umeweza kushinda lazima upe, upatiwe pesa yako na kutumiwa lazima umejiregister na Mpesa au umejiregister na Airtel Money mm -hmm. na kama hauna kitambulisho utakuwa umejiregister aje kupata ile pesa mm -hmm. na sheria za Kenya hapa nchini zinatuelezea lazima umejisajili ndio uweze kupata ile pesa yako kupitia Mpesa ama Airtel Money sasa mm -hmm. ukiwa hujajiregister pia hujafaulu kuweza kuingia kucheza na Mbet Kenya so is on the bad uh, some of the terms and conditions yeah. gabriel when you talk about terms and conditions something clicks in my mind about the government policies mm -hmm. um a couple of months ago it was a big talk in kenya that all these betting companies they'll they, they'll maybe shift out the government had ha, has put in place according to others maybe we can talk about harsh conditions for you guys yeah. what are some of the challenges that you guys cope up with the taxation laws well, the major challenge is, uh, I think it's, it's still in court, it's been challenging court, mm -hmm. and uh, we're all uh, waiting to, to see the, what the court ruling will be mm -hmm. in this case, uh, and we hope uh, that uh, we'll uh, re uh, make the government reconsider uh, this decision, because otherwise uh, most of us we won't be able to, to operate or, or, or make a living out of this, uh, and people will lose the, the jobs, mm -hmm. I think. The, the taxation is too high, it's, it's totally out of the, the standards in the industry all, all over the world. It's, mm -hmm. it's quite the standard all over the world. Mm -hmm. So I'll take you back to the odds thing, because I'm trying to think if, let's say, it forces you guys out, and it, it's a job basically to others because of the tough conditions of living, it's hard economically, some of people are really finding a job out of this ama Mauricio labda kule kwenye utaita mwanaje hali vijana mtaani eh how's the situation when it comes to this kind of betting well kulingana na sheria zenye zimekwa nchini lazima tuzifuatilie kwa sababu hiyo ndo maisha tuko kwa sasa na kama vijana lazima pia ufanye bidii kando na kuwekelea bet peke yake pia kuna zile jobs za mtaani ni unafanya kuhasol vile wanavyoita mm. ndo ili pia uweze kupata pesa yako. Unajua unajua unaposema tufuate sheria umenishangaza. Mm. Yaani unaniangalia hivyo nafikiri move nje sheria ama unamaanisha nini? <laughs> she thinks I break the law. Wewe ukiwa mkenya tufuate sheria. Ndio lazima ufuate. So basically you have to follow the law. Ndiyo. So Gabriel, what are some of the criteria that you guys use when trying to pick out these odds, selecting odds, mm -hmm. you know. So, for example, uh, Real Madrid is playing against uh, Levante, and you guys gave Real Madrid 1.40 and gave Levante a Santiago Bernabeu mm -hmm. 9.36. What are some of the criteria that you guys use to come up with this kind of... Well, we have a team uh, coming up with uh, those odds. Mm -hmm. uh, they are based in... Uh, how the teams are performing uh, mm -hmm. in a specific competition. If Some history. The history uh -huh. in that specific competition, the head-to-head, -head, the previous head-to-heads they had in the past, mm -hmm. uh, what is uh, how the performance of the team is, is, is going uh, in the last uh, weeks or days, uh, how it's been the last uh, um, encounters even with other teams uh, in different competitions. There's mm -hmm. a number of factors. Also the, yeah. the players, uh, if all the players are, uh, are uh, in conditions, or there's been some injuries in the last uh, matches, and so on. No? Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a whole team that does a lot of research before you come out with these exactly, odds. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. a full team of uh, quite a number of persons. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my, my, my latest 
when I first checked on the MBET, I realized that your odds are like a little bit higher as compared to other betting companies. Is that maybe a way of you guys to entice some customers like me, <laughs> since you know that I win? Well, of course, we have to put something that will bring you as a client to get the best out of football betting. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we have to focus also on the odds and also on your pocket. So, mm -hmm. we also charge uh, be, be, be affo to yeah, affordable prices. Mm -hmm. So, we have to think about you as a client. Gabriel, what is the lowest minimum? amount of money that I can use to place a bet on MBET? Stake uh, 25 shillings. 25 shillings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are two chapatis where I live mm -hmm. and one mandazi, <laughs> basically my breakfast. Yes. So basically, what I'm trying to get from Gabriel here, Mwanzangu ni kwamba, yani nijukua la mtu wote yule. Manake tukizungumzi ya 25 bobu unajua mitaani. Iyo ni... Any person can afford that. How did you guys come up with that? Why, why that? Because some others, other, uh, others have, other platforms have like a hundred. Why 25 shillings? It's been decided uh, like that. A quarter dollar is a bit the range. Mm -hmm. uh, Tanzania, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more as the same. It's more as Labda unge muambiaje, mgeni yule ambao amesikia tu mambo ya mbet na nataka kuingia kweli jukua, unge muweleze aje. Kwanza kabisa lazima kwa itini ya ze, mm -hmm, eh, kwa hivyo kama una kitambilisho hapa si pako, siwe si mteja hapa. La pili na la tatu? Um, kama mteja wa, uh, wa mbet, akiyezi pendelea kuingia kwa mbet kucheza na sisi, uh, ajue kwamba atapata usaidizi kwa haraka kupitia customer care mm -hmm. uh, wetu. Alafu pia pesa, uh, unacheza tuna shilingi 25 hiyo ni pesa ya kawaida ya mwananchi na pia hatuku ha, we don't charge for withdrawals and uh, deposits so it's totally Kwa free. Nikipata 500 yangu ni 500. Ni 500 yako you withdraw it it's free of charge so we don't charge for anything and at the moment we also do have a jackpot it's only 50 shillings you pay 50 shillings to play, jackpot. Yeah, to, to play for the jackpot so it's an affordable price to win a lot of cash. Kabla nende kwa ke Gabriel tumalizie, mm -hmm. umesema customer care. Yeah. Kuna sauti za soprano huko mani base. <laughs> soprano kama hii ango nye unaisikia, ndio sisi tuko hapo ndani. N nambari ya customer care ni gani? Uh, ya, yeah, utaingia kupitia 0701-290-006. Anasema ni 0701-290-006. 006. 006. Yo, na kama pia unatumia Airtel, uh, unaweza kutupata pia kupitia 0733-290-006. 0733-290-006. Gabriel, we have to finish this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. people have to go home. Sure. What are your last words for Kenyans? Yeah, you try and bet, no? Uh, we not bet, uh, I think uh, the simple bet, the better bet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Easy, affordable, yeah. Good results, good odds, better odds. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a nice time here. Hapa game yetu, ni game yetu tu. Mmesikia yote ya mesema, wanasema kama una masikio, utayasikia. Na matumaini yangu ya kwamba, umayasikia. Game yetu, leo tumekuwa na wagini yetu, tumekuwa na wagini yetu wapa, na tumekuwa tunazungumza mambo ya embet. Hadi wiki jayo, goodbye.